Okay, good morning everybody. This is a new game. We're going to call it House and Garden Flip 5 and I will be taking you through from where to go with the um, with House Flipper gameplay. So let's see how we go with that, okay? Alright, uh, starting a new game and we'll head through. Wow, okay. Welcome to House Flipper, the game will allow you to buy, renovate, decorate and sell houses. And for now, I am stuck with this awesome shack, oh my god, for an office. Check my mailbox to receive new orders, complete orders and unlock new garden tools. Oh yeah, alrighty. I love the garden flipper expansion, it's really cool. So I'm also noticing I don't have any music, so give me a minute while I just see what I've done to my poor little settings. Aha, uh -huh, I've turned off the sound, that would be it. There we are. Hopefully that won't del won't um, deafen us. There we go. And let's get out of here and continue our game. Alrighty. First things first. I suppose I should try and get inside. That will kind of help. Time to check the emails on my laptop. It surely is. But oh my god, look at this garden. Something needs to be done about that. Let's go inside and ooh. Alright, well I don't need to walk over that, do I? I can just get rid of it. Can't destroy any of that, that's fine. Do I have anything? My laptop will help me find jobs, buy houses. If you can't afford to buy a house yet, oh I can't afford, really? Um, and I already have my first email. Sure, let's get going with that. Oh, no, 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 okay. The rubbish is going, I'm not leaving that here. Alright, I mean, I can at least pretend I've got some pride. There, radio. B for use. Mm. My ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from my house. Oh, wow, Sarah. Hello, I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know you from photos posted on Face Spam that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess, stole the radiator, and it's possible something else is missing as well. Please make order in the house, replace the missing devices, and I ask you not to tell the police about the whole matter, as I will settle it myself when I return from an ODN. All right, Sarah, I will fix your house, and I will fix it really well, because I don't want you dealing with me when you get back from your business trip. Congratulations, I have a new tool. You'll be able to clean dirty stuff using the mop. That's probably going to be handy. Let's see how we do this. E. Oh, okay, you're right. He did a job on here. Let's fix this up. No one needs to go through this kind of stuff. Close the door. Neighbors don't need to need to watch us fix things. Wow. And he's been in the eye. Right click to get your tools up and then just select the mop while you're holding the right button down. And away we go. Okay, that's not too bad. Music is very calming, I like that. Really enjoy the way these, this mop works. Okay. Except I would like to be a bit quicker. That's probably something I can improve, hopefully, as we go along. Oh, I missed a bit of rubbish, look at that. So, right click, slide the mouse up to where you want to be, right click, slide it back to where you want to be with that. That's how you change your tools. Ooh, I'm improving. I'd want to improve. Turn it on the tablet. Tablet. That's normally under tab. Aha, that's awesome. Penetrating vision, fast hands. Oh wow, see some dirt on the mini map. See, that really helps. All right, hit tab again to get rid of it. I know, I know I said I wanted faster cleaning. Um, however, I like being able to see all the dirt too because it helps me get things done a bit quicker. All right, that looks like we shall. From now on you have a tablet at your disposal, press the tab to show or hide it. Oh right. So if I go to tab, 
If I go to store, and we click to search the item, I think I want the radiator. There we are. Buy now. Left click to place it, E to assemble, and away we go with this. And I've forgotten to turn my timer on, so give me a tick. Otherwise, I'll get lost in the game and you guys will have a really long session that you may not have time to watch. So, let's fix that. There we go. One radiator is done. Now, if you have a look over on your right hand side, you'll see what the progress is for cleaning. That was our left click hold. If you press down your shift key, move your mouse wheel, you can adjust where things go. Sorry. On the right hand side, you will see that you have a live, we're in the living room and then it has a certain task, set of tasks we need to do. And that those are complete because I forgot to point this out earlier. I'm just picking things up and straightening them. There we go. Right. However, you'll also see in the overall progress bar that we're not done yet. Uh, you'll see in the mini map in the very top right that we have some dirt in the bathroom, so we'll open up the store, right click, head over to our mop, and we'll just very quickly smoosh through here. So if you're overdoing a job and you think you've got everything and you can't work out where that last bit of dirt is, the um, the mini map will help you once you've upgraded your skill enough to get there. Uh, we're just going to get through. I'm going to pick those up in a minute. Alrighty. Right, go to hand, pick those up, back it up, using the S key. Alright, the order is 100% complete and we can head out. Complete the order. Do you think we can spend that much time there without no Probably not. Alright, so that's the brings me to the point of skills. One of the best ways to build up skills is just to do the things you can do uh, at whatever house you're using as your office. So in this case we might not be able to mow the grass but we can pull the weeds and by doing that you'll be earning yourself some points to uh, put towards your skills. So you've got a new garden skill available from pulling weeds. We hit tab and we discover we can do this. Uh, I'm actually going to go for the high grass visibility because I can then get to visible weeds on the mini map. Okay. And if you have a look at your minimap, these things aren't showing up yet. And it's really, really handy for some of the jobs that are coming up to be able to see them. So um, just a tip, if you can do things at your office with the tools that you have, then by doing those, you're also helping to increase your skill. You need to left click and spam the... I love the way these are highlighted, it makes my life a lot easier. You need to spam the button and just get rid of those really quickly. So holding the left mouse button down won't get rid of your weeds, which actually in some cases is probably a good thing. Yep. So weeds, weeds might be your bane, but they're also uh, your friend when it comes to developing skills fast early on. I'm just going to do a quick methodical quarter through here. Oh, there we go. And that's that, I guess. Oh, no, not quite. All right, we've probably missed a couple, and if we have, there's a new gardener skill also. Uh, now I'm going to be able to see them. So if you have a look at our mini map, you can see that our yard is mostly weed free, except for the ones over here in this corner, and that they vanish as we clean them. So that's pretty handy. All right, we also have a mop now, so we can still I think excellent you can still clean your house uh, with the mop 
and this should help you develop another cleaning perk pretty quickly. Now be aware that not all your dirt is going to be showing up in a mini mat. But you, have, you will have clients who care about the fact that you haven't washed the outside of the house. And that if you're going for a higher price in your housing, you need to actually get it, this part of it pretty clean. The other very fun thing about this game is if you aim your mop at the right spot, sometimes... Oh, look at that, I've missed something. Okay, sometimes it can be quite difficult to find where things are. So the minimap says I've missed something. There we go. So that little dot that you can see roaming about in front of my mop, that is telling me, that is showing me where the mop is actually cleaning. If you haven't got that pointed at the right spot, you won't get all the dirt. Um, so we're just going to do a very quick clean here on the outside of our office. Because, frankly, I'll feel better when it looks a bit tidier. And also, I might get some more house jobs if my office is nice, but uh, I don't know if the game has the mechanics for that. I'm just role playing a little bit there because that's fun. Now, um, what have we got over here? More dirt. Um, so, with our next cleaning skill, we might alternate between finding the dirt and cleaning it quicker. So, the next one, we'll just start getting that cleaning speed up a bit so we're not sitting here all day. Getting the um, cleaning done. There we go. Oops, jump. Shift key for jumping. Key to open. Alright, let's get some of this mesh for cleaned up. And then, my goodness, how rude is that? That's done, and that's done. That's all done. E for open. Oh, well, I think I really, really desperately need a new bathroom, or at least a bathroom makeover. So hopefully, very soon, we'll get something in there. All right. Now, if you watch in your mini map, you can see the direction you're pointing, so that you can find the dirt that you've missed. And it's important to look up as well as down. There we go. So somewhere in there was a piece of dirt I couldn't see. Always look up. If you can't find the dirt, look up. And then look down because just occasionally, there we are, it's down. There we are. All right. Let's go back to our hand. Let's go back to our laptop. That's pretty much all we can do for now. We have three more. I must have done a really good job. Cleaning the garage. Let's just go from top to bottom with this. We'll accept that. They need to clean the garage, throw away the boxes, trash old tires. Don't forget to clean the window um, and don't move the tools because her husband gets a bit upset. All right, let's go do that. Alright, I don't need to go into the house, I'm just going to go straight into the garage and we'll just get straight into this. The tyre tracks, the first time I played this through, the tyre tracks got me, I couldn't work out where the dirt was and then I realised that it was because somebody had been doing skiddies out in the garage, which is a bit naughty of them. Alright, I have a new cleaning skill. Let's get that upgraded as fast as we can. We'll go for faster cleaning. Nice. Right, and this is partly, as I said, when you're working, if you can do the skills you've got in your office, it will also help you a lot um, when you're trying to develop your skills early on. So it's not just all about the jobs. Again, um, actually, while I remember, have a look over on the top mid right hand side you'll see that you've got a task list of things to do in this room so whenever you enter a room um, or when you're gardening a section of the garden gardens are divided into sections whenever you enter a room or a section of the garden just check out that right hand side taskbar and you will see uh, the things you've got to do in that area and it doesn't look like i can get too much further without actually picking up the trash. So let's go back to our hand tool and just angle it around. 
won't be extra reach on these. I think it used to be a lot shorter, so that's really nice. And yes, I'm being lazy. There we go. Oh no, things I can't throw away. That's fine. So just the old tiles, not the new ones. Music is so soothing. There we go. Okay, if you have a look, we're ninety-seven percent removed trash, and once we complete the task, the task goes away. However, we have not found all the dirt, although it is on our map. It's over in this corner somewhere. So grab that. Oh, look at that on top of the box. How sneaky is that? All right, the dirt's gone. And now we can head over to the window. Hmm. Ah, E. Clean the window. Oh gosh, although I have to say, when I first played this game I had a, a much older machine and as fiddly as this is to do with this machine, it is nothing and nowhere near as difficult. Also, uh, the devs made some tweaks that made this task infinitely less uh, daunting to do and I have to say I really appreciate the work they did to make window cleaning a lot more pleasant than it used to be. There we go, we're now at 100% with that enter key and get paid. Complete. So I think we now have a new cleaning tool. Oh, and a new skill point. Let's check that skill point out. I should have read that, shouldn't I? Oops. Negotiation. Higher payment. Let do less order. Okay, you know what? I'm not selling houses yet. So let's get paid more for the jobs we do. Because we're worth it. Okay. Alright, I have a new tool. My windows don't need cleaning. No. Okay, no worries. Oh. That's the radiator though. Probably can't put it there because the bed's in the way. I can't get rid of the bed yet. Okay, next task. I wonder if we'll have one with a new tool. Radiators. That looks like fun. Winter is coming, the wind is hard, and there's no radiators in the house. That looks like a nice, simple job. Let's get that one done. Um, right, overall progress. There's nothing to do in the garden, as you can see. Let's step through into the first room. Nothing to do in this room, but I can see on my mini map that I have a bar of red in here. So hop into here. In here, they just want a radiator. So we'll hit tab, hit store. And you can either look for the radiator, which is located in your installations, and you scroll down, it's over here. Or you can just type in rad at the search bar and it will find the radiator for you quite nicely. Um, we will get quicker at installing things as we install more things. So maybe there's a few things in the office handyman skill. Jump. Uh, fitter. You know what? Let's, let's get faster with that. So maybe there's a few things we can install in the office to help build that skill up a bit quicker so that we can do it faster. And again, tab, store. And if you don't buy anything else in between installing the radiators, you don't have to go looking for them again. It won't take them away. So we get I really need to speed that skill up, it's driving me batty. Uh, here. Oh, that's a different kind of radiator, a towel radiator. And the tab. Yes, I will get this right eventually. Alright, again, it's in the installations. The towel radiator works over here. You can, however, also type in radiator and it'll come up as one of your choices. Um, and that's actually a really nice feature for this game because you don't have to go scrolling through all of your options in order to find the things you need. If you know what you need, you can just type it in and um, and you'll locate it. Now, radiators aren't the only thing we can uh, install. If you have a look, we can finish the order if we're tired of doing it and get paid less. Right, uh, that is lip unscrew because if you ever try to mount a sink and you've got the plug screwed in, you'll know it doesn't work really well. 
on, I can buy a sink, tab, sinks are in bathrooms, you go house, you go bathroom, and you go sink, and you go buy now. You could, however, oops, push that in. Now, when you're installing things, it's a bit like doing a puzzle. You just have to find the bits you're allowed to move. Uh, the game helps you a lot with that. Occasionally, I've noticed with the sinks that there tends to be a nut missing. I don't like all the swinging around um, with this one. So what I do is I tend to do those together and I do the furthest one first. After that, I put up the swinging around. And I'll just get that done. Oh my gosh, I am so slow. And that, and then you have to click on each of these before you get this section come up. So what I'm doing is left clicking and holding for it to done. I have a new skill point. Yes. Uh, let's get faster at that. And tab out again. All my tasks are completed. So I can get paid for that one. Awesome. I think I just have time for one more. Um, Alright, what I said about fitting is this. We tab, store, I have doors and windows, curtains and blinds. I'm actually going to put a mount of the blind up on each window because I like privacy. I don't know if any of the clients that buy from you actually pay you any extra for having these up um, or having this kind of window dressing up, but it counts as something that you fit and if you put them up in every house you've got you'll develop your handyman skill a lot quicker Ooh, look at that let's get rid of that there we go um, so what we're doing is really quickly just assembling things in our own office as we go and what this also does is as you change your offices you can do them up uh, to a certain point um, you'll, you'll be doing that without the guidance from your clients, but um, you will still get them done a bit quicker. And basic things like fitting uh, toilets and radiators and blinds, um, those are things that you can do that won't really upset anybody or affect too much, hopefully, at a price. Um, and if you have clients that like curtains, you can always add those later. Right, so that will help us develop our skills. I'm going to do one more job and then I'm going to finish up for the day today. So let's see who else is looking for help. Oh, these emails keep coming. A bit of gravel and a couple of bushes. Oh, my first garden mission. Yes. I work at home in my dentist's office. I can fill teeth cavities, but not garden cavities apparently. So I need some gravel um, and plant something to make it look better. I can do that, Evelyn. Let's check it out. Oh, in an American garden, there has to be a barbecue spot. I like the tips at the bottom of the screen on this. Give it a minute to load. All right, planting is now available. From now on, you are able to design a garden, look for plants in the garden category and in the shop. Nice. All right, congratulations. I've unlocked a new tool, a garden hose. Look out, cats. Right. If you have a look in your minimap up in the very top, you'll see that we're standing in what must be garden section one and we have a certain number of tasks over on our right hand side. We're going to scatter single colored gravel, plant a coniferous shrub and remove weeds. Over here, this is section two, we have another set. So again, single colored gravel, coniferous shrub and weeds. And this is three, Ooh, two colored gravel, not one. And over here, Ditto with the two color gravel. All right, let's get rid of these weeds first. This is where I like the weed finder because if I have trouble finding weeds, I don't have to go over the garden inch by inch trying to make them highlight. Um, and I know that I've got them all. And if I haven't got them in, I can find them easier. So it's just one of those things uh, that uh, really is really helpful. So basically, if I just follow 
where the map says the weeds are and turn towards them. Um, so I'm used to doing without it, so I'm not using this one. I can find them where I'm looking for. And turn around, that's one, that's the other one. And over here's the third. Oh my. Let's go with the single coloured gravel. So we'll go tab, we'll go store, make sure we're in the garden tab. I guess it's a surface, two colour, single colour gravel. Let's do that. You know what? I think that's actually going to match. I could change the colour for her. That's not a bad colour either. I'm not too fond of the pink. Let's do the yellow. We're going to buy many. It's our only options. And then this works just by... If you want to get a nice neat finish, the gravel will not color, cover over path surfaces. So it will actually act as an edge for you. And this becomes a little bit harder when you get to other edges. But I like getting it right up to the bottom. There we go. Now we have a border and I can just go back and forward. And that... It's one... Like this was single color gravel as well, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, right, let's get that done. I do like the fact that the, the game doesn't let the shrubs block my way when I can't move them. That makes... that just makes so much sense. And we just pour the gravel over. I wouldn't mind having an option to not fill spaces with gravel that I've already been over. Um, a bit like they do with the painting. But um, that's okay. Now over here, I think it's two coloured gravel. So let's not use the single colour, otherwise the client will be upset. Two coloured gravel. Do I have a matching? I don't have a matching yellow, so we're just going to have to go with white on that one. Alright, so we're just going to topple through. Now, you'll notice in this we're not being as neat because there's no garden edge. Um, so hopefully she won't get cross. No, I'm just going to stand in this spot and fill in this area. There we are. Oh, whoops. And I can't clean it up. Well, that's a uh, always bothers me, but uh, the clients never seem to get cross if I missed a patch like that. They want to put too much gravel in. Oh, well, let's, let's make it tidy. There we are. Now it'll actually look okay even though I've gone over where I need to. Yay. Right, this was also two colour gravel. If you check the, um, the little room map that we have over there. Apparently I have missed a weed. I have to. Alright, I'll get to that before I lay the next lot of gravel. So that's the other good thing is when you have a mission, it's just oops, go to my hand and the weed is there. Alright. Back into the gravel and the buy some many and just finish that bit off there. If I was doing this um, in real life, I would probably have planted the shrub first, but um, doing it with this makes a lot more sense. All right, I have now done all the gravel. Coniferous shrub. Let's find our coniferous shrubs. So garden, plants. I can divide my plant. I can look for it here like this, or I can go into conifers. Oh my, wow, I can give her some choices. Let's put some nice tall shrubs at the back. It'll cut a little bit into our profit, but not much. And then we'll put some short ones at the front. All right. Oh, I get varieties. Like that. So the varieties of the shrubs are actually all on the left-hand side. And we're going to go with that one, because it's pretty and I like it. And we're going to pop that in the middle. If you go into here, I need one conifer shrub. Alrighty. Let me put that there. Garden plants need to be planted so interact with them. That's okay. Maybe I should have done. I should have bought many on this one. Because, oh, go away. Because then I could have just dumped the next one in here. Alright. I right click to stop buying more. No, I don't like that. It's too small. So I'm going to sell it. I'm going to buy a bigger shrub. Oops. Where are my conifers? Broadly conical. That looks a bit tall as well. Let's do that one instead. And 
that's a nice leaf variety. What is that one? Actually, I like that one. Buy many? Oh, yeah, let's go with a heading mind. All right. Right click to stop diamond. It's not done yet because I haven't planted them. So, um, but I just want to get all of my plants in place first. I'm going to buy this one next. That looks kind of matchy. I wonder if I can get a bigger one. A flatter border. Creeping dense carpet. Okay, no. But let's just go with that one then. And back to the bit that I like. Buy many. Put you there. And I'll put you there. Right click. And now we're going to highlight it. So E to insert the plant. And make sure the circle is highlighted. You need to um, left click for each dig. You can't just hold the mouse down, down and have it dig. You've got to left click and hold and then left click and hold. So the hole is dug. E to insert the plant. Oh, I like it. I can highlight the whole plant and put the soil around. When when they first put this in, you had to find a specific point of the plant. There we go. That's in. Um, e to insert. Left click and hold. Release. Left click and hold. Release. And it will dig the hole for you. E to insert the plant. That's so much easier. That's nice. Thanks, guys. And water. When the blue circle fills, the plant is watered in. Apparently I can shortcut this order if I want to leave her to dig it, but hey, let's not. We'll also note that as you as you complete each part of the order, the income bar under your account balance should also go up. So we need to insert the plant. We need to put the soil around. And then water. Let's just check that area. All right. So you'll notice as as I completed that, I got an extra two hundred or thereabouts in. Um, so if you shortcut your orders, you won't get the full payment, obviously. And sometimes even quite small things can add um, a fair amount. In. So as you're uh, starting out, it's always a good thing to get that done. All tasks are completed. Also, if you're into Steam achievements, there is an achievement for doing 100% completion on each order. So it's, you know, that's there's another incentive for you if you, if you need it. All right, a new negotiation scheme. I really like getting paid extra for what I do. And we're all good. Let's just right click. And that, I think, is where we will call it for the day. Thanks for being with me today. Um... Next week we'll get into some more missions and gain ourselves some more toots. In the meantime, have a good weekend and I'll see you tomorrow.